Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Matching Factor Pairs. We're about to face an interesting question. In the last videos, we listed factor pairs on the top of the page and also on the bottom. On the back of the paper, we listed more pairs on the top and still more on the bottom. Some people notice that there are numbers in our lists that are not on the chart, which brings us to this question. Which of these pairs is shown on the chart? To answer that question, let's take a close look at the multiplication table and our journey. We've multiplied by 1, we've multiplied by 10, and we've studied the commutative property of multiplication and have focused on these 36 products. So to focus our question, where are these 36 relationships represented on our page of factor pairs? To answer the question, you'll need a pencil or a highlighter and also your page of factor pairs. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. In this video, we'll mark all 36 relationships you have a choice in how you mark them. You could place a dot next to each one, like this, or you can underline each one, like this, or you can highlight each one, like this. I'll use a highlighter because it will be a little easier to see on video. Let's begin. Mark these pairs. 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. 2 times 6, which is equal to 12. And 3 times 4, which is also equal to 12. 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. 2 times 8, which is equal to 16. And 4 times 4, which is also equal to 16. 2 times 9, which is equal to 18. And 3 times 6, which is also equal to 18. 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. 3 times 8, which is equal to 24. And 4 times 6, which is also equal to 24. 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. 3 times 9, which is equal to 27. And 4 times 7, which is equal to 28. Now let's turn to the back of the paper and mark these pairs. 5 times 6, which is equal to 30. 4 times 8, which is equal to 32. 5 times 7, which is equal to 35. 4 times 9, which is equal to 36. And also, 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. 5 times 8, which is equal to 40. 6 times 7, which is equal to 42. 5 times 9, which is equal to 45. 6 times 8, which is equal to 48. 7 times 7, which is equal to 49. 6 times 9, which is equal to 54. 7 times 8, which is equal to 56. 7 times 9, which is equal to 63. 8 times 8, which is equal to 64. 8 times 9, which is equal to 72 and 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. And those are the 36 relationships. They are the same 36 relationships that are represented here. But it leads us to another question. Why are the pairs that are not highlighted so important? In the next video, we are going to see how they all tie together, and you will soon discover some surprising relationships when you look at them closely. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Matching Factor Pairs.